President Barack Obama's proposed defense budget includes $367 million for military construction projects for Guam and an additional $33 million in funding for civilian infrastructure needs. What it doesn't contain, war reparations. H.R. 44, or the Guam World War II Loyalty Recognition Act, was stripped from last year's defense budget. During today's House Armed Services Committee on the 2012 Defense Spending Plan, Congresswoman Madeleine Berdalio asked Defense Secretary Robert Gates where he stood. The compromised version, which Berdalio has reintroduced, eliminates payments to the descendants of the survivors of the Japanese occupation of Guam during World War II. The people of Guam, Mr. Secretary, are being asked to provide additional land for firing ranges and the main base area for the current buildup. And resolution of Guam war claims is going to be critical uh, to overcoming historical injustices. Well, as, uh, as Deputy Secretary Lynn testified, uh, we continue to support the Department of Justice uh, position on this. So I guess the answer would be yes. yes. Congresswoman Berdalio would then ask for a status of the Department of Defense's roadmap for realigning U.S. forces in Japan. Specifically, how is the reconfiguration of Camp Schwab facilities and the adjacent water surface areas to accommodate the Futenma replacement facility project proceeding? And when can we expect to see tangible progress on Okinawa for a Futenma replacement facility? My hope is that, well, first of all, I discussed this when I was in Japan uh, just a few weeks ago. Um, I, I feel like uh, the Japanese government is, is making a serious effort to resolve the Futenme issue. Um, my hope is that um, we will get resolution, particularly on the uh, configuration of the airfield or the runways, um, perhaps later this spring. And that would then allow us to go forward with our planning. Until, until we get uh, the Futenma replacement facility issues settled, we really are not in a position to go forward. Defense Secretary Gates adding with a resolution of the Futenma issue, troops won't leave Okinawa and lands won't get returned to the Japanese. In recent months, representatives from the Japanese government have made several trips to Guam. Among the issues brought up, the feasibility of moving the Futenma replacement facility to the territory. Local leaders, however, have said Guam does not have the capacity to handle the additional burden.